Onyx E-Type Tutorial. Wheels Installation. Let's start with the axis. Install them inside the wheels until you detect a click. Attach the axis with the wheels to the proper places on the frame. Repeat with the other wheels. Frame Unfolding Open the lock to avoid accidental unfolding. Pull up to secure the system. You will hear a specific sound. Press the round buttons on the handle for its regulation. Shopping Basket Attachment Place the shopping basket on the stroller frame. Attach it with zippers and buttons. Carry cot installation. There is ventilation at the bottom of the carry cot. It can be closed or opened without extra effort. Please keep in mind this feature. Install the carry cot on the frame with the help of adapters. They will be blocked automatically. Hood adjustment. To fold or unfold the hood, please press buttons one at a time. Memory button system allows you to do this with one hand only. Pull the hood to secure it in the needed position. There is ventilation in the hood. Unzip, press the memory buttons, and lower the hood to use the ventilation. The cover of the mattress is easily detachable. The fabric is child-friendly, so the child can lie on it without the cover. Air mesh is known as a breathing fabric. It keeps a certain shape according to the position that the child is in. Internal part removal. The internal part of the carry cot can be easily detached. Just open two zippers and two fasteners. Put it on the same way you put it off. foot cover, and backpack attachment. Hang the backpack on the handle with the help of two fasteners. Attach the foot cover to the front of the carry cot. Secure it with magnets. Canopy peak attachment. The canopy peak extends the hood and provides full coverage for the kid. You can attach the canopy peak with the zipper. Pull up the canopy peak or hide it inside the hood. Mosquito net attachment. 
E-Type Basic Case includes a mosquito net. It has an elastic band which can be easily put on the carry cot of the stroller. It completely covers the carry cot. Rain Cover Attachment The rain cover also has an elastic band to make the process of putting on comfortable. It covers the whole carry cot as well. The rain cover has a perforation on both sides, which provides access to fresh air. It can be easily hidden inside the backpack. Handle adjustment. You can regulate the angle of the handle. All you have to do is press the buttons. There are nine positions of the handle. Amortization system. The stroller is equipped with the triple shock absorption system. Shock absorbers are located on the frame, on the front and rear wheels. Comfy stop system. There is an ergonomic brake pedal between the rear wheels. Press it to immobilize the stroller or to continue the ride. Swivel wheel system. The stroller is equipped with 360-degree turning front wheels. By means of it, there is no motion interference at all. Press the buttons above the wheels to secure them. Carry Cot Removal Press the buttons to remove the carry cot. Adapter's memory system will keep the buttons pressed until you pull up the carry cot. Shopping Basket Removal Unzip the shopping basket and remove it from the frame. Frame Folding down the handle to its lowest position. It is important to fold the frame as tight as possible. Unlock the wheels. Press the X lock button on the right side of the frame and press the buttons on both sides of the frame. Slowly push the frame until it is fully folded. Wheels removal. Press the buttons to remove the wheels and the axis. Remove the axis from the wheels. Seat Unit Installation Install the seat unit on the frame with the help of adapters. They will be blocked automatically. Seat liner removal. Separate fasteners on the bottom of the seat liner. Press the center button of the buckle to unfasten it. Remove the seat belts from their fastening holes in the seat liner.
seat liner attachment. Put the seat belts into their fastening holes in the seat liner. Connect all seat belts to the buckle. You can easily adjust the harness straps. Choose the appropriate harness buckle for this. Secure the seat liner to the seat unit with the help of fasteners on the bottom. Hood installation. Place the hood in the fastening holes on the both sides of the seat unit. Secure the hood with elastics. Secure the buttons on the back of the seat unit. Canopy peak attachment. Attach the canopy peak with a zipper. Pull up the canopy peak or hide it inside the hood. Detach the canopy peak the same way. Bumper installation. Put the bumper into the fastening holes on the both sides of the seat unit. The bumper can be used with one hand. You can attach, detach, or move the bumper to one side. 
left or right? Hood adjustment. Unzip the hood to make it larger. Unzip another section to use the hood ventilation. Hide the canopy pick inside to make the hood shorter. Pull the hood to secure it once it's in the needed position. Footrest adjustment. Lower the footrest with two buttons. Raise the footrest with one move. Backrest adjustment. Lower the seat unit with an ergonomic button which is located on the seat back. Raise it in the same way. Foot cover attachment. Attach the foot cover to the bottom of the seat unit. Secure it with buttons. Two of them are inside the seat unit, another one is on the bumper. Remove the foot cover the same way. Rain cover attachment. The rain cover covers the whole seat unit. Mosquito net attachment. The mosquito net covers the whole seat unit as well. Seat unit directions. There are two possible directions facing the world and facing parents. Remove the seat unit from the frame. Memory system will keep the buttons of the adapters pressed until you remove the seat unit. Change the direction and place it the other side. Folding together with seat unit. Lower the handle to the lowest position. Press the X lock button on the right side of the frame and pull the buttons on both sides of the frame. Slowly push the frame until it is fully folded. Lower the footrest and the hood to the lowest position. Remove the bumper. Repeat everything in reverse to unfold the frame together with the seat unit. Car seat installation. Install adapters on the both sides of the frame. Install the car seat on the frame with the help of adapters. They will be blocked automatically. Hood removal. Unfasten the hood of the car seat.
take it off from the back of the car seat. Attach the hood the same way with the help of elastics. Seat belts adjustment. Press the center button of the buckle to unfasten it. Press the bottom button to regulate the length of the seat belts. You can also adjust the height of the seat belts. Attach them to the needed fastening holes. Foot cover attachment. Attach the foot cover to the bottom of the car seat. Secure it with elastics on both sides. Remove the foot cover the same way. Car seat removal. Press the buttons and pull it up. Do the same with adapters. It's easy to be done with one hand only because of the memory system. It will keep the adapter's buttons pressed until removal. 